Why should you use Kodi safely in 2025? Kodi has become one of the most popular media platforms in the world, all because of its open source nature and extreme flexibility. Whether you're into organizing a personal media library, streaming educational content, or customizing your entertainment experience, Kodi offers freedom that's unmatched. But with that freedom comes responsibility. And that's where this guide comes in. Many users unknowingly install dangerous add-ons or follow tutorials that bypass legal channels. Doing so can put their privacy, their data, and even their devices at serious risk. This video ensures you don't make those mistakes. We'll walk through installing Kodi legally and securely on the most common platforms, how to configure it safely, and how to use only trusted, verified add-ons. This is not a shortcut video, it's a long-term solution video. And the best part? You'll have a Kodi setup that runs smoother, faster, and safer than ever, without having to worry about shady content or getting into legal trouble. Even if you're only using Kodi for completely legal purposes, your ISP can still track what you're doing. That might result in bandwidth throttling, activity logs, or privacy risks, especially if you're on public networks or shared Wi-Fi connections. Using a reliable VPN eliminates that concern entirely. A VPN encrypts all the data leaving your device and masks your IP address. This is not about hiding illegal behavior. It's about staying private in an age of constant surveillance. VPNs also help bypass unnecessary geo restrictions if you're traveling and just want to access the content you legally pay for at home. When choosing a VPN, avoid free services. They often log your activity and sell your data. Go with trusted providers like NordVPN, IPVanish, or Surfshark. Install the app, log in, and connect to the nearest fast server, then launch Kodi as you would usually. The Fire Stick is powerful, portable, and budget-friendly, which makes it one of the best devices for Kodi. However, you have to sideload Kodi since it's not available in the Amazon App Store. That process may sound technical, but it's actually safe and simple when done correctly. Start by enabling apps from unknown sources in developer options. Then download the downloader app which acts as a simple browser. From there, visit kodi.tv slash download and choose the correct Android version. Always double check your downloading from Kodi's official site and never from third-party APK sites. Once Kodi is installed, open it and explore its clean interface. No ads, no preloaded bloatware, just a fresh legal copy. From there, you can start customizing your layout and preparing your system for official content. Android-based smart TVs have a big advantage. Kodi is available directly through the Play Store, meaning no sideloading and no settings changes, just a fast and safe installation. To begin, navigate to the Google Play Store on your TV, search for Kodi, and click Install. Once installed, it will appear in your home screen app tray. From there, launch it and begin configuration. With a smart TV, you can navigate Kodi using your TV remote. The interface is already optimized for larger screens, and you can easily install official add-ons for streaming, weather, music, and more. Be sure to check Kodi's interface settings to adjust fonts, layouts, and themes for the best living room experience possible. Installing Kodi on a desktop or laptop gives you ultimate control and flexibility. It's the best setup for users who want to stream local media, apply performance tweaks, and store large content libraries. Visit Kodi.tv, click Download, and select Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then download the installer to run it, and you're done. No third-party sources and no complicated file moves, just a clean installation from the source. Once installed, you can plug in external drives, add your own local movies or music folders, and allow Kodi to scan and organize everything automatically. You can even set up advanced playback features, stream to other devices via UPnP, or install official subtitle and metadata tools, all for a full home theater experience. While Roku doesn't allow Kodi installations, it does allow screen mirroring, a legal and effective way to enjoy Kodi's interface on a Roku-connected TV. First, go to your Roku settings and enable screen mirroring. Then, on your Android device or Windows laptop, go to Display Settings and choose Cast or Project on your Roku device. Once connected, launch Kodi and it will mirror to the screen. This method is great if you already have Kodi set up elsewhere 
and want to enjoy it on a secondary screen. It also avoids unnecessary risks or device modifications, keeping your Roku secure and compliant. Cody's official repository includes hundreds of verified legal add-ons, covering everything from music and podcasts to news, education, and family-friendly entertainment. To access them, go to Add-ons, then go to Install from Repository, and finally, go to the Cody Add-on Repository. Some top legal add-on options include YouTube, where you can watch content from your favorite creators, Plex, which will enable you to stream your personal library remotely, Pluto TV and Crackle, which will provide legal access to free TV shows and movies, or SoundCloud, TED Talks, radio, and many more. These add-ons are secure, frequently updated, and fully supported by the Cody team. You'll never have to worry about malware, illegal streams, or system crashes caused by shady repositories. Even with a clean install, you can make Cody work better with just a few simple tweaks. Here are some safe tips to enhance your performance. Number one, clear your cache. Over time, cache data can slow Cody down. So use Cody's built-in settings to clear your cache manually. No third-party tools required. Number two, update Cody regularly. Make sure your Cody version and all add-ons are up to date for the best compatibility and security. Number three, try new skins. Cody's interface can be customized with official skins like the Estuary mod, Arctic Zephyr or Amber, all for a fresh new look. Number four, adjust playback settings. In the player settings, you can change buffer size, audio delay, and resolution settings, all for a smoother video. Number five, organize local media. Cody's built-in scrapers help you add cover art, metadata, and summaries to your own media files, which is great for home libraries. Avoid using unknown maintenance wizards or tools that claim to boost Cody. These are often red flags for malware or pirated content. Stick with Cody's built-in tools for reliability and safety. Congratulations, you've now got Cody installed and running safely on your chosen device, with your privacy protected and all operations staying well within legal boundaries. You've learned to avoid shady add-ons, to bypass dangerous shortcuts, and to focus on customization that's safe, stable, and smart. By using the official Cody repository, protecting yourself with a VPN and steering clear of third-party hacks, you've created a private home entertainment system that works beautifully and responsibly. Be sure to watch out for other videos on this channel. For topics like VPN comparisons, media center builds, and how to protect your data across all devices. If you have questions, I respond personally to help you get the most out of Cody. Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell for more privacy-first tutorials. And share it if this video helped you. Until next time, stream safely, and enjoy the freedom of Cody done right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.